Hey watercolor wizards, Harjra here. Today I'll be painting a blue dyed in butterfly and participating for the second time in the Animal Artist Collective. Thanks for parking your brushes here and let the epic art adventures begin. I'll be using a sheet from a Magnani Portofino watercolor hot press round block of paper and my brushes include a few rounds and an angle brush. I'll be using Sinelli Fine Artist watercolor pans. Last time this round paper had too much excess external sizing on the surface and it made it somewhat water and watercolor resistant. So this time I'm going to wet down the paper a few times before painting to break through and dissolve some of that extra sizing. This isn't a problem I've had with my other watercolor papers, but this brand does seem to have that issue. Wetting it down did seem to help a lot with a moisture repellents issue, though the paint was still quite easy to lift when I got to painting. This might be a good thing if you intend to lift and correct a lot, or an annoying thing if you really want layers to stay put. I'm going to be working in wet and wet glazes and somewhat on dry details with blended edges, which is how I typically do botanical subjects, and also butterflies because the wings are so similar to flower petals and their translucency, delicacy, and veining. Also, keep an eye out for how I will use dry brush texture and stippling dots to convey fuzzy, feathery transitions between color shapes. And I'm going to save just about all the white using the bare white of the paper in the traditional watercolor fashion, but I couldn't help having some fun stippling and some final white highlights on the wings with a white gel pen because that's just how the white pattern areas looked on the butterfly. If you want to see more examples of this type of subject or painting style, then you can check out my past butterfly grisaille painting videos as well as my befriend botanical and honeybee painting video on YouTube or my watercolor lily videos on Skillshare. I also have posts on Patreon explaining these techniques. And speaking of Patreon, I'll have a butterfly sketch download, the photo reference, and also the relevant information and posts on there for patrons if you want to paint more butterflies. I'll also have past butterfly sketch downloads on there as well for patrons to use and enjoy. I'm excited to have accepted an invitation to join the Animal Artist Collective as a permanent member after I applied to participate as a guest artist last round in November 2018 with my Caribou Patronus painting. And I'm looking forward to collaborating with this lovely bunch of fellow artists and fellow environmentalists this coming year. This round's topic was insects, and I chose the blue diadem butterfly because I saw a lovely specimen in real life at the California Academy of Sciences. So I'll be using my own photo of that specimen, similar to how I did my other butterfly studies last year, also with photos I took at a CAD site. Hypolimnus salmacus is the Latin name for the blue diadem, and it's a butterfly in the family Nymphalidae found in various Afrotropical regions and forest habitats and feeds from teak flowers. The distribution range extends from Senegal to Ethiopia and from Congo to Somalia. Blue diadem is a fitting name as this insect has such jewel-like colors and striking patterns. And it's black with white and blue inset areas on the wings and a little bit of a brownish underwing area. And that gives this butterfly a, a very gorgeous stained glass art type of appearance. Members of the species can reach up to three and a half inches in wingspan. The other participating artists in this AAC round include founders in Liquid Color and Jennifer Charlie, as well as Sade Saves the Day, Meow Meow Kapow, Amy Howard Art, Mary Sanche, Visual Mind, Bonnie Snowden, and me. If you know my channel already, then thanks for being one of my watercolor wizards, and if you don't and you found your way here as a result of the Animal Artist Collective, then welcome to my channel of watercolor and wizardry. I do original art and master studies here, I cover old masters techniques like grisaille and art history during my art demos, and I work in watercolor gouache and ink. I hope you enjoy my video and that you subscribe to my channel, and please make sure you check out the other videos from this round of the Animal Artist Collective. The links to the other participating artist channels are below in my description box, and you can also find some more information about the AEC down there. Hopefully this video and artwork for the AAC will help raise awareness and support for wildlife. You can buy this artwork from me by contacting me via email or messaging on Instagram or Patreon, and I'll donate 50% of my proceeds to the World Wildlife Fund or the National Wildlife Federation, two organizations that I've donated to annually for more than a decade. There's a long history of painting insects for natural history illustrations, which were especially valuable before the invention of the camera and even for many years after because of the lack of color photos or readily printable and affordable photos. You might know Beatrix Potter from her illustrating and writing stories about Peter Rabbit and many of his other animal acquaintances, and I've covered her in past Master Studies videos. However, you may not know that she also painted natural history illustration ranging from fungi to insects. Her love of nature is apparent in her illustrated animal characters, but we can also see her interest in insects at work in her tale of Mrs. Tittlemouse where various unwanted guests show up at the fastidious OCD mouse's house, including insects. And Potter wanted to add wood lice, earwigs, and a centipede as common rural house insects among them, 
but her publisher wouldn't allow her to for fear of disgusting readers. So we see her paint a spider, a butterfly, ladybug, beetle, and bumblebees for the book, and refer vaguely to some other creepy crawly people to keep the book palatable. I've always found that to be a really funny story, and always think of Potter when I'm painting insects in a watercolor. And this butterfly is actually the first video I filmed and the first art I created after my move to Santa Cruz. I've only been at the Santa Cruz cottage for two days and two nights, and when I set up my desk and mounted my light and camera late last night, it really hit home that I live someplace new as I'm actually painting here. Here's a photo of the bay window I had added to the cottage during the remodel process, so I had a place to put my decoration pieces. The ornament trees are bare because I removed the Christmas ornaments when we moved, but usually they have my hand-painted ornaments on them. It took us two weeks to pack, clean the new place, move, and then unpack, so I'm really exhausted but relieved it's finally over after so many delays that dragged out for months. Thanks so much to my patrons for your patience with me for the past two weeks since I didn't post any videos during that moving duration. I hope I don't sound too spacey and groggy for this video, though I know I do. (laughs) My voice sounds totally groggy, but I did this painting and the video in a single sitting very late last night and then I came back and did the voiceover and I was even more groggy and I didn't have any other time to do this project since we literally just moved in and set up my desk and camera stuff. So as a result, I only managed to paint half of this butterfly before my hands totally conked out after 2 a.m. But I thought it was a perfectly alright subject to do half of in a video demo because butterflies have symmetrical wings so anyone watching will know how I'll eventually do the other side. Well wizards, hope you enjoyed my process for this blue dye down butterfly watercolor painting. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my website links, Skillshare, and Patreon page to support my art and art channel below. And don't forget to check out the other videos and art projects from the Animal Artist Collective this round. Again, the links are in my description box below. Thanks for parking your brushes here and wishing you all epic art adventures.